Hey, good morning. How's it going? Uh, time for this week's farm update. Um, I've, I've done something that I've wanted to do for a long time today, and I'll, I'll show you that today. I've made a hydraulic ram pump. Here we go, let's have a look. So here it is. This is our ram pump. The parts that we've got here, this is the, uh, the supply of the water, or the, I think they call it the drive pipe. We've got a valve here to shut the flow. Uh, this is a check valve, which um, stops water going this way. There's another check valve. This stops water going this way. Uh, T-joint, that's our supply line. And this is a pressure container, so that builds up pressure. Next part of it is, This is our supply dam. We've got a bit of a, a leak of water there into the field. Something there, and I can already feel it's getting soft in here, I think. Yeah, we'll have to fix that, but... So we've got about five metres of drive pipe. So if I pick this up, stick it back in there, Turn on this one, it gets stuck. I believe it needs to build some pressure. There it goes. There it goes. So right now, every time every time this one slams closed, there's water hammer in this uh, housing down here. The water hammer punches up into this one, opens this valve, and admits a little bit of water into this, this area, which supplies water to the supply pipe. So what that looks like over here, is this piddly amount of water coming out, oops, like that. I measured this, and I'm getting 1.2 litres per minute. But if I calculate that out over an hour, I think it's something like 72, 72 I think it is. Math not good. Yeah, 72 and so 144 in uh, two hours. Um, in four hours, it'd be, uh, what, 288, which is great because if we come over here, so over here, we've got, this uh, tank and we'll put the supply in here and we've got a spigot there so we can open and close that and we'll put this one out here just up on this ledge so it gives it about 1 point, 1 point 1.3 meters of head which would be uh, point 0.1 bar or something so not much pressure but hopefully, if we can run a pipe along here, we might get a very, very slow drip, drip irrigation in here. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. Anyway, just a quick one today. I've, I've been wanting to make a ram pump for so long, and I've, I've done it. I'm sitting here, and I'm in the farm, and there's people around, and I'm like, Ee! people think I'm a crazy person. But yeah, the ram pumps are awesome. They work. Uh, essentially off the, the, the power in the drive pipe from the pressure of the water. So as it comes down the pipe, uh, it hits that, that first check valve, and when that closes, it creates water hammer, which is the, the power of the water coming down the pipe suddenly stops, and that energy needs to go somewhere. So it lifts up the other check valve, allowing just a little bit of water to shoot up into that supply line. It's just a really cool thing. Um, the efficiency of these pumps is really quite small. They're, what, oh, I can't remember what it was, like 7% or so? I, I don't know, I can't remember. It's, I was looking at it the other night. It's really, really low. Most of the water gets wasted, but it runs 24 hours a day with no stopping. Like, that's awesome. So if you can store that water somewhere, that's great. You've got, you've got water, so it's gonna be much easier for me to water around the farm now. Anyway, thanks for having a look at my crazy ram pump. See you later.